Hey, Hawk, thank you for joining us. How you doing today, buddy? Well, this could be a perfect match up here because Brian used to box. I used to box. Uh, we got a match. That's good. Tell That's good. Hawk, first of all, I, I enjoy your work as a play-by-play -play guy. We all do here doing MLB tonight. You're a blast and you're a pleasure to listen to. I want to say that first because I know you see me as a screaming lunatic. But I, do, I enjoy your work so much. Dan Plesak walks around quoting you like a little kid talking about, oh, yeah. like, Mel Allen no all the doubt. time. So we enjoy your work. Well, you know. And well, thank you, but you know, Mike, I didn't see the show that you you guys uh, that you got on me. My buddies told me you were really kicking my arse. I'm telling you, they said it was bad. <laughs> you don't need to see it. You don't uh, need to oh, see it. He, he went but, off. No, let me ask you a question. Did, yeah. did any of you guys see the movie Moneyball? Yes. 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 You did. Yeah. Was there anything in there that struck you as funny a little bit or odd? Who is this, Harold? No, yeah, well, it's Harold here. now. They didn't, they didn't talk about the pitching in that movie. That's exactly right. Exactly right, Harold, again. You know, when you got <laughs> Mulder and Zito and Hudson, you can write any kind of book you want to write, and it's going to be successful. Because this game is game of defense. This game is a game of defense with pitching being the first line of defense. And in that, in another thing that they didn't say on those taglines in that movie was the fact they said that the 04 Red Sox won a world championship employing – Billy Bean's sabermetrics. Well, they forgot to tell you they had over a $200 million payroll as well. All right, Hawk, it was a movie. It, it was a movie, though. Did you read the book, Buddy I know. Ball, at least? Did you read the book? No, I didn't. I, you know, I, I promised I wouldn't even, you know, read the book or see the movie. My wife bought it. We, we saw it on the way out to spring training. But, you know, pitching, baseball is the best game ever invented because, really, it's not played against a clock. Okay, you can't score when you're on defense. And when you're on offense, the other team controls the ball. And there are things in there are numbers. Uh, if you'll revisit that thing that I said, I also said there's a place in baseball for numbers. But I also said that it's the most overrated issue to come into baseball in the last 10 or 15 years, and I stand by that because it's not ready yet. Down the road, 40 or 50 years, when you can put some of those categories, you know, you got your OBPS and all that and the VORPs, when they can put in TWTW, and then interface those numbers with TWTW under that category, then you might have something cooking. What, what, what TW is? Yeah, what is that? That's the will to win. Yeah, well, TW right, right, and Harold, uh, uh, and Harold uh, knows exactly uh, what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me tell you yeah. something. With Harold, Harold's a good example. The guy standing right next to you. People 40 or 50 years from now look at Harold Reynolds' numbers, they say, okay, he was a pretty good player. Well, Harold was not a pretty good player. He was an outstanding player because he did things that you can't put numbers on. Harold was the kind of guy he would stand there and turn the double play when he knew he was going to take a hit from guys like myself or Kirk Gibson or whoever going to knock him into the left field. He'd get it over, turn it over, and then take the hit. He'd also steal the base in late innings of a ball game when everybody in the ballpark knew he was going to steal. He'd also make that diving stop of a ground ball going to his left to keep a man going from first to third. Those are the things that are not put in numbers in Moneyball. All right, Hawk, uh, are you basing your your critique of sabermetrics on the movie Moneyball? Is that is No, that no, it? not at all, so not what, at all. What is it that's Ryan. overrated, Hawk? What is it? Well, it's gotten people fired. You said, uh, I understand you said that it hadn't got, who's it got fired? It's got managers fired. It's got some general managers fired. It's got some managers why? fired because well, they, they, they had to manage, them? because they were having to manage a game they didn't know. They, they didn't, sabermetrics disdains defense, that's speed, not, it's not true. bunning, bunning, hit and run, uh, a friend of mine who was a scout, God rest his soul, told me that there was a manager who had to call up in the late innings of a ball game to a GM's booth and ask him if he could bunt because it was a close ball game. Right, but Hawk, now, aren't you just playing the percentages in the late innings, for example? You say, hey, what gives us the best a chance to, to score a run? And if you knew that the odds were better with you not bunting, wouldn't you not bunt or vice versa? Wouldn't you want to know those well, odds? Well, let me ask you. It's not scoring runs. It's keeping the other team from scoring runs, the more score runs than you do. And you do that with pitching and defense. No, no, but hold on. Say when you're in the bunting situation. The manager you're talking about that got fired because he, had to, he didn't know if he was supposed to bunt or not. Wouldn't you want to know what the actual percentages were? No, no, because you got to be in every you're game is different, you're Brian. To, you're, you're bunting to move. Bunting is an offensive play. You're bunting to yes, advance Yes, don't you want to know the event, what the percentages say of how often you will score a run but if you have a guy on second gonna with tell one you out, two What's going to happen at that exact moment? No, it will tell you what your chances are, the percentages right, I'll that, step that will off. be I'll successful. I'll let you and Hawk talk. I'm That's sorry. I'll let you and Hawk talk. Hawk, all right, you Ryan. say, uh, you know, uh, one thing I don't get is wouldn't you want as much information as possible, even as a manager, just to know who you're dealing with, how often a guy walks, how often he swings, all those things. Wouldn't you want to know everything possible? Well, the more numbers and the more information you bring into the game, the more instincts you take out of the game. It's just that simple. Well, you no, can, no, but a general manager. They are inundated, are inundated with, I think, too much 
and sometimes you get bogged down. This is a kid's game. It always has been. It always will be. And it's a game of that TWTW, the will to win. <laughs> and you can't put those – you can't put numbers on those things. You take a guy like Jake Peavy. You take a guy like Paul Canerco. These guys have that TWTW. They want to win. And it shows and, in uh, their performance. The irony huh? of this thing huh? – the irony of this thing, though, is last year – Bob Melvin did a great job because he got that club with the TWTW. They had the will to win, and that's the reason they won, what, 94 balls? Yeah, but you need, to ref you need to try to measure the performance. The will to win is terrific, but if you're gritty and gutty and it's not turning into bases and runs or preventing runs, it's, it's of very little value. Don't you want to just measure the performance? The performance is W. That's a performance. Yeah. It's W. And but again, you do that with pitching and defense. Right, but isolating you do that the with production. Pitching and mm -hmm. Brian, you no, do no, it with pitching uh, and defense. No, you're right. Okay? You bring up, That's say, the name you, of this game. You bring up Paul Canerco. His value comes from a, a myriad of things, including his batting average, his ability to draw a walk, and his hitting for power. You would want to measure these things as closely as possible. And then when you have enough Paul Canercos, you win. You score more runs. You need to isolate the production and find out what each individual guy is doing it. Why wouldn't you want to know well, why who's don't you, responsible where, for you that? Didn't mention, you didn't mention one of the, his most prized assets, and that's leadership. Where does that come in? Where do you put a number on that? Where that, do you put a number on Jake Peavy the, getting out there and pitching and throwing 125 pitches, 130 pitches? He gets credit for every, 20, inning, every inning, every strikeout, he gets credit. That's a statistic. It's a metric. Well, again, it's the will to win, Brian. That's what you got. Did you, did you box, you said? But yeah. You, okay, so you had, the will, you had the will to get in that ring. Well, I boxed. I did a lot of fighting I, on I, the street and in the ring. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll tell great, you, I had you got to have the will to win. Yeah, you do, and I had a great will to win, and yet I'm not beating Bernard Hopkins. He's more talented. Than, you have to measure the performance. You know, at well, a certain you point, that you right. need the talent and the production. You need okay. that. Hawk, oh, let me show oh, you a little oh, something. Oh. Let me show you something, Hawk, here. Because here's, in 1968, Hawk, if you told your grandkids or some young whippersnapper out there, I'm using his vernacular, that, hey, I hit 275 in 1968, that in and of itself does very little. But I did here with our friends from BaseballReference.com worked up you sabermetrically in 1968. You hit 275, but you had a 356 on base, 518 slugging or 516 slugging. Adjusted to the Rockies, say you were playing for the Rockies in 2000, you had a 438 on base, slug 652. I'll put it in numbers, the triple crown numbers that you and Harold can understand. 49 homers, 187 RBIs, because you were playing in the dead ball era. And Sabermetrics puts things into its proper context, and that's good for baseball. That's well, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the analogy to that. The next year, I, I got, went to Cleveland in the biggest ballpark in baseball. I hit 230 because the manager, the only thing he wanted me to do was hit 20 home runs and drive in 75 runs, okay? That's the way the game was played back in those days. I hit 30 home runs, drove in 92 runs in the biggest park, and I had a better year that year than I had the year before when I almost won the Triple Crown. Right, so you're putting it in the proper context. You don't put those numbers. That's all sabermetrics now, and analytics is, is putting things in its proper context and knowing what the isolated value is in a big park, small park, and in different eras. It's a huge okay. difference. Well, why didn't you put up the 30 home runs in 92? They were more important than leading the big leagues in RBIs and hitting 35 the year before. I'll shred 1969 Hawk Harrelson next time around. You're welcome anytime on this show. Go ahead, Harold. Hold on. I, want, I, want, I got one more <laughs> subject, Hawk. We want, we want to talk with Brian about because here's our, our one big argument is pitchers wins. And he and I go at this like almost daily. And I'm curious your thoughts because I think a pitcher's win is important. The win category, 20 wins, 15 wins, whatever. He doesn't feel that way because he looks at all the other statistics and says he had a good year or didn't, right? We're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. So I'm curious your thoughts, Hawk, on that. The only thing that counts is a W. That's all. It's a, guys, team, but a know, team W, not an individual pitcher W, Hawk. I mean, well, how, how do you guys, accumulate I mean, team Ws if the pitcher doesn't get his W? You got to have a W. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's a winning team is, statistic. The, the winning is the biggest thing in baseball. There's no question about it. And how you get it is because of pitching and defense most of the time. Hmm. And that's the. Brian, you've got to understand that. that no, the, the first rule in baseball, understand. okay, <laughs> wait a minute. Yes, the yes, first rule yes. in baseball is catch the ball. It's not hit the ball. It's catch the ball. If you can catch the ball, mm -hmm. you got a chance because you can't give Major League teams four and five outs in an inning. If you do, you're going to get beat. And I tell you what, Hawk, they've made huge advances in defensive analytics of late because sometimes a guy looks real flashy. He makes the highlights, but he doesn't make as many plays over 162 game season as someone else. And – it is sabermetrics. But you just that said they made charge. advances, you know, and I have yeah. no doubt they're not oh, going to continue perfect. to make advances. Yeah. But 
it's not ready yet. And until this, until it gets ready, the TW, TW is going to supersede <laughs> anything the Saber uh, Makers comes in. Earnshaw Cook and those guys, he's the one that first started this yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. And then Bill James bought, bought into it a little bit. So it wasn't <laughs> Billy Bean's idea. No, it wasn't Billy Bean. But it, it, it's, I tell you what, it is, it's not perfect. Defensive metrics aren't. But offensive metrics are extremely accurate. It's been here for a while, Hawk. It's right there. I think you'd enjoy it. I think well, you really I would. I still like you, buddy. I, I like disagree you too, with Hawk. you, and I still like you. I got to deal with this guy every day, Hawk. I don't mean to <laughs> yell at you. It's really him. The rage is directed at this guy in the nice suit. Hey, Hawk, we really appreciate you. Well, the game tonight, who you got tonight there? White Sox and? We got Tampa Bay. You got, you know, Joe Madden's one of the greatest managers in the game, if wow. not the best manager in the game. And we got Hellickson going, who is a good Good guy for them, and I'll tell you one thing. This is a tough ball club. They're going to run some pitchers out there. And you know, on the other side of that page, we're going to run some pitchers out there, too. It should be a hell of a series. Yeah, Rays have won 90 series. games in four of the last five years. You know why? Sabermetrics, Hawk. Oh, goodness they, they, that they come from Wall Street, that financial model. They understand the economics. That's why. That's the final oh, You keep on God. believing that. You'll lose it in a little while. <laughs>